Namaste and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Puneet Amin and in this video I'm going to talk about the three things that I hate about KTM's 390 Adventure. Now this video is a small part of my complete ownership review video. So I'm creating this bite sized video so that you guys get to see the relevant topics that matters to you. And if you want to watch the complete review video, there's a pop-up link coming up on your screen and also the link is in the description. And if you too own a motorcycle, let me know in the comment box below which is the motorcycle that you own and what are the three things that you don't like about it. And if you're new to this channel, make sure to go hit that subscribe button as I upload videos on motorcycle, adventure, travel and more. So it's a very exciting YouTube channel and one small click from you is a big happiness and motivation for me. And now let's begin. Let's come to the not so good points about the motorcycle and the areas that the KTM can improve over the period of time or for their next generation. So yeah, there are going to be certain reputations <coughs> like for once, the engine, yes, the engine is also in the bad point. The reason being, this being an adventure motorcycle and KTM giving you training academies for off-roading and trail riding, <coughs> that means you're going to take this motorcycle off-roading. Now while you are off-roading, now I have ridden the Himalayan in the off-road and the Ladakh. Um, so the difference that I felt majorly is the low end torque, right? While you are off-roading, you are doing some technical uh, bits in off-road trails, you need the low end torque, right? So this engine misses out on that. And what you end up doing is managing your clutch input and the throttle input. So you need to get used to it. You need to train your brains and you know your muscle memory to how to react react to every kind of a situation uh, while you're off-roading or while you're in cutthroat traffic and you want immediate power to shoot out of the signal or some corner or something like that, right? So that is the one not so good point about the engine of the Adventure 390. Now, coming to the second point is the suspension. It does have a technical reason, so I would not say it's a bad point for per se. The front suspension is very well calibrated, so I won't touch that. But the rear suspension is towards the stiffer side uh, while you are riding solo. That's when you feel, feel it. While you are riding pillion, the suspension settle down very well. So while you're riding solo and it's a bumpy road or you're going through some uneven patches, you will feel a lot of, uh, you know, jolts and jittering from the rear suspension. So the next bad point is the seat, right? I'm not talking about the length and breadth of the seats, both rider and the pillion. I'm talking about the cushioning of the seats. You're good to go for a stretch of around 200 to 250 kilometers at one stretch post that you will start feeling numbness at your rear end uh, same goes with the pillion seat so that's not so very good about the motorcycle and i would suggest that you either cushion it up a little bit or use the air seat or the gel seat that you find in the aftermarket and that's an easy fix so that should not be a problem now the third not so good point about the motorcycle is the vibrations that come from the engine. So like you saw the mirrors, the headlight line was vibrating. So that is at the idle stage of in engine. You will also find vibrations at the low end somewhere with around 3.5 to 4,000 4, RPM. After 4,000 RPM, the engine smoothens out. And then again, you will start feeling a little bit of buzz on the handlebar and the foot pegs post 8,000 RPM where you are redlining it. So, Yes, so there are vibrations uh, on this motorcycle, but that is something not so heavy that it will you will definitely ignore it because of the 
package, the wholesome package this motorcycle comes with. So that brings me to an end of the bad points and trust me, these are three bad points that I can, I have to struggle to come out with and there are a lot more good points that I have not covered because this video is going to be very long. Now let's, let's come to the key part which is the questions that people ask me about this motorcycle.